All right, guys and girls, so I've got a really quick one for you today. I've been meaning to make this video for a little while now, and I realised the other day that I haven't actually made it. And it's basically the best export settings in Premiere Pro for HD and 4K video. Now, in the past, I've done a few videos on Instagram settings and Facebook settings, but this one's just going to be the best settings for exporting HD and 4K video in Premiere Pro. And because I'm nice and I want to make things easy for you guys, I've put together some free presets for you that you can download in the description below. You can basically import them into your Premiere Pro export settings as presets and use them for your HD and 4K exports. Follow along in these videos so you know why you're using the settings. But yeah, free presets via the link in the description. Gift from me to you. Before we jump into Premiere Pro, let's just have a quick look at YouTube's recommended export settings for HD and 4K video. Okay, so for 1080p, they recommend between 10 and 15 megabytes per second, and for 4K, between 44 and 85-ish megabytes per second. You can find this table on the YouTube website, but this is their recommended bitrate export setting. Okay, so let's just jump into Premiere Pro. Okay, so I've got this drone video here that I shot, it's just of the sea from above, but the, the video itself isn't important. I'm going to show you how to export this in 4K and HD video. Okay, so this is a 4K video. I'm going to control them to bring up my export screen. Now you can do this by going to File, Export and Media. Bring up exactly the same screen. It's just a shortcut, Control M or Command M on a Mac, I believe. What we're going to do first of all is we're going to go to Preset and we're going to choose YouTube 1080p Full HD. Okay, so this is going to give us a nice starting point to build our preset. So the output name and where you save it to isn't important at the moment. That's up to you. That's where you would change that, obviously. So we're going to make sure Export Video and Export Audio is on usually is a standard and we're going to go to our audio tab and we're just going to make sure it's AAC and 320 bit rate okay so the 320 bit rate is the most important part of that we're then going to go to video where we're going to check it's 1920 by 1080p so standard full HD resolution we are then going to go to frame rate this drone video I shot was in 30 frames per second so I'm going to want to change that to 24 frames per second for the export. I generally export most of my videos in, if not all of my videos, in 24 frames per second. So 23.976 is what I'm going to be choosing as my frame rate. Okay, we're then going to check the aspect ratio and make sure it is square pixels 1.0. And we're going to click render at maximum depth. Why wouldn't you? So in the encoding settings, if you do have the option to change the performance from hardware to software, then don't. Just leave it on hardware encoding. Some versions of Premiere Pro, you won't even have that option. It will be greyed out. But if you do have the option, then I would use hardware encoding. Profile, make sure it's set to high. And level, make sure it's set to 4.2. OK, ignore this. So these are the settings that we're going to change. So this is the most important part, really. So you're going to have the option of CBR, VBR 1 pass or VBR 2 pass. Now CBR stands for constant bitrate, okay, so it's going to export your video in the bitrate that you choose constant throughout the video. VBR stands for variable bitrate, it's a bit of a mouthful, that's probably the third take for getting to this point. VBR stands for variable bitrate, VBR stands for variable bitrate. VBR stands for variable bitrate. So variable bitrate, you go through your video and it will assign different bitrates to different parts of the video, depending on how complex the different sections of the video are. Now, VBR2 pass means it will run through the video twice. Uh, the first one's like a dry run, and the second one, it will make sure it's assigned the right bitrate to the right sections of the video. Okay, so that's the one I would always recommend. It does take a bit longer because it's got to run through the video twice but it is the one that I would recommend. So VBR2 pass, let's select that. You're then going to get a target bitrate and a maximum bitrate. Now think of the target bitrate as the lowest quality it's going to be and your maximum bitrate as the highest quality. Okay, so for target bitrate, for HD video, using YouTube's recommended bitrate export settings, I'm going to choose a target bitrate of 15 and a maximum bitrate of 20 
Okay, so between 15 and 20 megabits per second. And then after that, I'm just gonna click use maximum render quality. Then I'm gonna go to either export, which will export it straight from Premiere Pro, or Q, and it will send it to a media encoder so that I can get on with something else while it's exporting. So up to you which one you use. I usually use media encoder, but you can just export straight from Premiere Pro, especially if it's a smaller file. Okay, and that's it for HD video. So if you're enjoying the video so far and finding it useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Shoots up the old algorithm so that other people can find it. Okay, let's crack on with the 4K video now. So let's just get rid of that and we'll just bring the same screen back up to refresh it. So this time in our preset drop down, we're gonna to go to YouTube 2160p 4K Ultra HD. This will give us a nice starting point to build our preset for 4K video. Okay, again, you'd change the output name to whatever you want it to be and wherever you want it to save it to. Export video and export audio are both ticked. So make sure that's the case. Okay, and in audio again, we're gonna check it's AAC and 320 bit rate which it is, we're gonna to go to video, 3840 by 2160, so check it's your standard 4K resolution. Frame rate, again, we're gonna to change to 23.976, although with the free presets in the description, it will already be set to this as default. Okay, check the aspect ratio is 1.0 square pixels. Click render at maximum depth, and then we're gonna go down to the encoding settings and check that hardware encoding is selected. Profile high, level 5.2 for 4K video. Okay, ignore that bit. And then we're gonna get to our bit rate settings. And again, we're gonna choose VBR two pass. And by using YouTube's recommended export settings, we're gonna set our target bit rate at 50 and our maximum bit rate at 80. We're then going to go to use maximum render quality. And again, we're just going to queue our export if we send it to a media encoder or just go straight to export from Premiere Pro and click export. And that's it. That's how to do HD and 4K exports from Premiere Pro. Video export settings, one of those things. It's really simple if you know not so simple if you don't and it's one of the first things that I look for when I was using Premiere Pro so hopefully this video will be useful to some of you and like I said I've made it even easier for you by making those presets for you that you can get free of charge using the link in the description below. If you have enjoyed this video and found it useful please do give it a thumbs up it really does help shoot it up the algorithm so that more people can find it. If you're not ready please do consider subscribing to my channel Premiere Pro tutorials, gear reviews, editing tutorials, anything filmmaking really. Channel's growing nicely, but it's always nice to get new people on board, so please do subscribe to the channel. I'm quite a nice guy. Pretty sure that I would subscribe to my channel if I wasn't me, but it is your choice. Please do feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so I can let you know when new content is released. Go and try out these presets. Let me know in the comments below how you get on with them. If you have any other questions, comment below. I do reply to each and every comment. If you do want to know the best export settings for Instagram, then check this video out here. Anyway, that's it for this one. I'll catch you guys in the next video.